guys, today we're doing wings. I've got a whole mess of wings ready to be cooked up. Uh, just wanted a good snack on a Sunday afternoon. And then I went and picked up this Cosmos Q wing dust. I picked the salt and vinegar. Hopefully it's gonna be pretty good, but the way we cook these is we basically, I'm gonna put a little bit of just an SPG type rub on them, a little salt and pepper, put them out on the smoker, 275 I think is about what I'm gonna cook them at. And then uh, we'll wait till they get to the right internal temp and then we'll come in and we'll toss them in that wing dust. So it's gonna be super excited. I've already, I've already broken up the wings uh, into their individual pieces, got all that cleaned up, washed up, everything. So now what we're gonna do is just dust them up a little bit with some, with some SPG and then we'll go ahead and put them out on the pit. <music> got the Yoder fired up to 275. Right now, I've got it running some Barbecuer's Delight. Let me show you. Barbecuer's Delight. Pecan pellets. Um, those, it's not gonna impart some sort of crazy flavor on them. Uh, I just chose pecan because it's a little bit more mild. You can taste a little bit of a difference with these pellets. Um, that said, pellets not gonna make, it's, it's not like if you're using a regular stick burner where you're gonna really taste like a mesquite versus a hickory and a, like say a cherry wood or something, it's a little bit more mild. So uh, nothing to, to worry about with the pellet choice, but uh, let's go ahead and get these thrown on the yoder. Uh, you'll also see I've got some smoke rolling in the background. I've got the pit barrel fired up. I'm doing some ribs just on the side, not doing a video on them. I might drop some clips in for you guys, but uh, let's let's look at these wings and we'll put them, put them on there. See, I keep a temperature probe here just so that I can kind of match up my reading. Now let's try this. There we go. And you'll notice that I put those wings onto a little bit of a baking tray and that just makes it so much easier getting them on and off the grill. I'm still gonna flip them by hand. If I had, I have two of those, I couldn't find the other one. I redid our kitchen, redid our kitchen, and I cannot find the other one that I have of that. Or else I'd take that one, put it on top, and then just flip them over like that, super easy. But we don't have that right now, so I'm just gonna have to flip them by hand. But we'll leave these on for about 10 or 15 minutes, and then we'll flip them, and then I'm looking for a 165 internal temp on these things. We'll make sure they're done, and then we'll go in and we'll just dust them up in that, and that's uh, the, the wing dust and uh, I'll let you know what we think. So stick around. Bit of an aside, we're, we're gonna throw some ribs on here. I'm gonna throw in a couple, I've got a couple chunks of cherry right here. So, so those, I'm gonna throw those just right, just right into the, right into the coals there. Um, kind of like to put one kind of, kind of in the fire and then one off to the side so that when that fire grows, it can just kind of, uh, it'll, it'll still have some smoke and some wood to, to do that with. So, um, not that this is a video on ribs, but uh, let's go ahead and get these ribs put in that pit barrel. It's gonna be good. All 
guys, it's been about 15 minutes where these have been on, and so we're gonna just go ahead and flip them real quick. We're nowhere near done. We're gonna flip them, and then I'll put a probe in one of them just to kind of get a gauge of where we're sitting as far as temp goes, and we'll be we'll just sit there until they're done. Now, I'm doing them at 275, and remember, I do that because I want that skin to really crisp up so that when we toss them in our and our wing dust that you know you have that nice crunchiness but then you also have all that flavor from the dust coming through so let's take a look and flip these things guys it's been a while it's been like another 20 minutes so we're sitting at like about 159 degrees on the one drumstick that we put the probe into so what I'm gonna do now is just kind of check them probe them take a look at what the color looks like and then you know see where we're sitting I think we'll probably need another like five to ten minutes max on these so let's take a look hopefully they get nice and crispy and you know looking looking like real wings that you would get at a restaurant or something so let's have a let's have a look <music> So what I'm gonna do now is just take these and I'm gonna transfer them over into this little aluminum tray. And I did not come up with this on my own. This is how Cosmo does it on his videos. So we're just gonna do it the way he does it because he is, he is way more of a professional than I am. I just do this on the weekends for fun. So let's see here. See if we can... Okay. So I've got all these transferred into this one aluminum tray, and, and guys, they, they smell amazing. They'd probably be really good just the way they are, but I've got, got the wing dust. This is the salt and vinegar. If we like these, uh, he's got them on sale right now. I'm gonna go ahead and order a whole bunch, and I'll do just a taste test video with a whole bunch of these, but uh, let's just see. It says a lot goes a, a long way, so let's just kind of sprinkle some in here. Whoa, and it's, I mean, it is strong. You can, you can definitely smell the seasoning uh, and how much it is. And this is how Cosmo does it on his video. So he takes this, kind of closes it up and then it. Dent at the bottom a little bit, but, and there you go. So they're coated pretty well here. So, I mean, they, they smell so good. If you like salt and vinegar, if you don't like salt and vinegar, you may not like this, but, but man, they, they look good. I mean, they look, uh, they almost look professional. Like, like maybe I know what I'm doing, but we all know that I don't. So I'm gonna let these sit for a minute, kind of cool down, and then we're gonna try them and let you know what we think. Okay, we've let these, these wings sit for a little while, and I can tell you, it, it is strong. If you don't like salt and vinegar, you're probably not gonna like these, but if you like salt and vinegar, you're gonna love it. So, uh, so let's see, look at that. I mean, it, it just looks gorgeous. I mean, look at it just kind of shimmer. Um, all right, let's give it a try. Mmm. <clears throat> That's awesome. Wow. That's really good. What I like about it is it's not overwhelming. You can still taste kind of taste the chicken a little bit. You get a little bit of that salt and vinegar aftertaste. And then I like the fact that we put the SPG or that, that Cooper's, which is it's basically SPG. I like that we put that on there first, just give it a nice base flavor so that you just don't don't get just that kind of like bland chicken taste when you're biting into it and you're really getting into it. This is amazing. Um, I think I stand by what I said earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and order a few more of his rubs. He's got them on sale right now. Um, I know that doesn't really line up with like timeliness for this video, but he's got them on sale. So I'm gonna go ahead and order a bunch more and uh, we're gonna definitely do some more taste tests with these. Actually, 
I think these are, this stuff would be really good on ribs. Let me know if you'd like to see a video with this stuff on, on ribs as a rub, and I'll go ahead and do that. So, guys, thank you for watching this. If you like what we're doing here, hit that subscribe button, smash that bell, and until next time, stay safe out there, and we'll see you later.